In December 1847, Emily Bronte's only novel, Wuthering Heights, was published under the pseudonym Ella Spell. She was 29 years old and lived just one more year. Emily wrote the novel at her home in Haworth, West Yorkshire, where she resided with her father and siblings. She'd walk the windswept moors near Haworth every day. It's little wonder this dramatic natural world inspired her work. We're on the edge of Stanbury, a village in Yorkshire, near Haworth, and we are about to do the 7.2-kilometer Bronte circuit, which will take us past some of the sites that inspired places in Withering Heights. We begin the walk near the Stanbury bus terminus and turn on to Back Lane. The route's first three kilometers travel along the Pennine Way, over Haworth Moor towards Top Withens. It's believed that this ruin of an old farmhouse called Top Withens was inspiration for the setting of Emily Bronte's Withering Heights house in her novel. Though the Top Withens farmhouse never matched Emily's description of the house in her novel, she's believed to have based its location on this spot. Lockwood, the novel's narrator, describes the location as a bleak hilltop. Wuthering, he says, is descriptive of the atmospheric tumult to which its station is exposed in stormy weather. Pure, bracing ventilation they must have up there at all times. It is indeed exposed, with formidable wind chill on this early May morning, but it doesn't feel bleak to me. The position, with its views over the moors, is beautiful. Behind Top Withens is a trail that leads up a small hill. We follow this trail over the moor towards the Delph Hill trig point. Upon reaching this trig point, we take a faint path to the right. The path leading down over Stanbury Moor is nearly invisible at times. For detailed directions of the circuit from here, we refer to the City of Bradford Metropolitan District Council's route description and map. The second location of interest on this walk is Pondon Kirk. This large outcrop of gritstone may have inspired Peniston Crags and the Fairy Cave in Emily's novel. After walking northeast from Pondon Kirk, we reach Pondon Hall, which dates back to 1634. It's thought to be the inspiration for Thrustcross Grange in Wuthering Heights, where the Linton family lived. The Bronte sisters were regular visitors to this house because they were friends with the Heaton family who lived here. Ambling alongside Pondon Reservoir, we pause to gaze back towards Pondon Hall before completing the remainder of the circuit. This won't be the only time we venture up the moors to Top Withens. As I walk there the next morning, and the next, called by its two lonely trees, physical position, and literary connection, I understand why it might have captivated Emily Bronte and helped fuel her marvelous imagination.